Sleepy Little Guy, a Marvel fanfiction written by Aster Elf on AO3. Peter has definitely slept, just not, you know, recently. But he's fine. He's handling it really well. The less than 10 hours of sleep in the past 4 days is definitely not weighing on him at all. His eyes are not falling closer in glasses, and his brain doesn't feel like it's been stuffed with cotton, and he definitely can comprehend all of the sounds around him, and he's most certainly aware of his surroundings. Which is why he doesn't notice when Flash walks up behind him until he's pushed out of his chair. He barely even notices it's happening. He's just laying down suddenly, and he doesn't make a move to get up. He really doesn't think he has the energy. He's not slept for at least 40 hours, and when he doesn't get enough sleep, his appetite goes to shit, so he's not really eaten all day, and he's totally cool with just staying on the floor in his classroom forever. So he doesn't notice his teacher walking up, concerned. He sees through blurry eyes of the white ceiling, or the ceiling lights, he's not sure. He would just close his eyes, but he doesn't want to sleep. He knows that much. Sleep is bad, and it's fine. He doesn't need sleep. He can stay awake. He vaguely feels a hand on his shoulder, but he can't bring himself to respond. He just lays there, staring at the ceiling. He registers that he's moving. He's not sure how, or why, or where, but he doesn't really care. There's an arm under his knee and one over his shoulder. He lets out a small whine as the ceiling moves. He likes the ceiling. He doesn't want to be taken away from it. Then he hears a voice, somewhere far away. He doesn't know what they're saying. He starts moving. He doesn't really know where. They bring him to a different room. Lay him down somewhere. He keeps staring at the ceiling. He stays there for a while. He's glad they don't try and take him away from the ceiling, again. Slowly, things start making sense. He can move his head. He looks around the room and realizes he's in the nurse's office. She's smiling at him. Hey, Peter. Are you alright? I've called your dad. He should be here in a minute. Peter nods before he realizes what she's saying. Wait, dad? I don't have a dad. He decides not to question him. Someone's coming back to pick him up, and he guesses that's nice. It takes Tony about five minutes to get to the school. Usually takes him about 20 to drive from the tower to Midtown, but he didn't drive. He flew in the suit there instead. He couldn't help the anxious thoughts from flooding his brain. Is he okay? What if he's dying? What if I'm too late to save him? He hurried into school, only taking the time to take off the Iron Man suit and stopping at reception to ask where the nurse's office is. A small voice in the back of his head tries his best to reassure him. If he's really dying, they'd have brought him to the hospital. It helps, a little. He takes the time to ask the nurse what happened, instead of just rushing to Peter right away. It helps. She assures him that he's fine. He just seems tired. He disassociated for a bit, but he seems alright now. Peter smiles as Tony walked into the room. He supposed the nurse wasn't far off when she called him his dad. Hey, Pete. He smiled, crashing down next to the bed. Tony looked at him for a second before raising an eyebrow. When did you last sleep, kid? When Peter averted his eyes, blushing slightly, Tony sighed. Alright, I'm taking you to Stark Tower. We're gonna have a nice little nap. Peter smiled slightly as Tony picked him up, letting himself be carried out of the building and flown to the tower. Tony placed Peter down on the couch, grabbing some blankets and some pillows to make him comfortable. When he tried to sit down in one of the chairs next to the couch, Peter whined, making grabby hands in his direction. Tony smiles. Peter was adorably clingy when he was sleep deprived. He got up, moving over to the couch, sitting down and laying Peter's head in his lap. All right, kid, you really need some sleep, so good night. Peter frowned. All right, how about we watch a movie, huh? Tony knew Peter probably wouldn't make it through ten minutes of the first Star Wars movie. And he was right. Peter was asleep within three. He was so tempted to try and move Peter to the bedroom. But the kid clearly had some issue with sleeping. And Tony really didn't want to risk waking him. He smiled lightly, knowing they'd have a conversation about this when he woke up. But for now, he'd just sit there and watch Star Wars while stroking the kid's hair.